Hello, welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a mobile layout in CRM analytics. So keep watching. All right, so I have opened a dashboard in my CRM analytics instance. Uh, as you can see, it's a very simple dashboard. I have few KPIs on the left of my screen. So I have open pipeline, one opportunities, lost opportunities and so on. The user has the ability to toggle or select the stage. So right now the user is seeing the data for all the open opportunities. If the user wants to look at the data by one opportunities or lost opportunities, the user can simply click on this and the data will render appropriately. There are a few filters here as well. So I can select the sales rep, opportunity type, account type, close state and so on. I also have a nice table view here uh, for the users to see if they want to look at or get some more details about that opportunity. This looks great on the laptop on my big screen. However, it's not going to render well on mobile or on tablet. So what we need is we need to create a mobile layout. And the good news is we don't have to create an app. Uh, CRM analytics makes it extremely easy for us to create mobile layouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit. And as you can see, this is my default layout. If I click here and say add layout, I get options to, to create layouts for, for different types of devices. So I could create a layout for tablet, for mobile, for custom and so on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name. So let's say I want to call it iPhone layout. Okay. I have the options to copy all the content or I can drag and drop uh, any widgets that I want on this layout. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy content. So I'm going to click on create. All right. So this, when I, when I create the mobile layout, this is the layout. So if someone opens their phone, this is how the dashboard is going to look. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of blue space here. Uh, you know, the filters are all over the place. The opportunity amount is here. It's not taking the full width of my, of my phone. Uh, I don't know if someone who is looking at this uh, dashboard on phone actually wants to see the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cleaning few things. Okay. So I'm going to first take this. It's a container. So I'm going to remove this. Um, let's see if we can size this next to each other, maybe keep it like this. Okay. Now let's bring, let's bring this up, all these things up, let's drag and drop it up. All right. Um, I want this to take the entire width. So I'm going to do that. Move this up also. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I don't need the table. So I'm going to select this hit delete. I do need these two charts. So I'm going to move these two charts. Let's see. There you go. Okay. So now when I preview it, my dashboard looks a little cleaner. So if I go here, this is what the, the user will see. The user will immediately see the KPIs, uh, the stages and so on. Uh, let me actually clean up few more things. So as you can see, this, the stage is here, uh, the filters are here and it's not very user friendly. So let's, let's clean that up also. So let's click on edit and let's see if this is a container. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this. I'm going to resize this also. And then let's see if we can move this here. Actually, we don't need stage. This is just waste of space. So let this be here. This is the opportunity type sales rep. Okay. So we don't need, we don't need these labels. Uh, it's, it's a waste of space. So let's remove this. Let's remove this. And now let's do this. Let's put this here. Let's put this here. Let's put this here. Uh, let's put this here. Awesome. And let's move this here. Let's make this a little smaller. 
and let me select both these components or widgets and move this here now my dashboard looks a little better right what do i see on my dashboard the user sees these kpis uh, the labels that said sales rep opportunity type account close dates there was no need for that because these labels are already there on the filter so i've removed uh, those labels again there was a uh, a text box or a label for stage uh, i've removed that because again from a user's perspective open one lost is pretty clear for a user uh, that you know it, it tells the user that that is the stage so i've kept it like that now the behavior is going to be the same so if i click on open one lost uh, the user is going to see the data based upon my selection okay i know what some of you are thinking you are thinking sujay you deleted the table view from this layout you deleted few labels wait doesn't the user want to see tabular view now this is the beauty of crm analytics so when i delete a widget from this layout it only gets deleted from this layout and let me show you so if i go to the default view and hit preview remember we had deleted the table the table still exists on that layout so when i deleted that table from the from the iphone layout that is the only place where i'm taking the table out of similarly we had removed these few labels again these labels were removed only from that iphone layout so if you are if you are creating an iphone layout or a mobile layout or a, or a uh, you know a tablet layout do not worry you can remove widgets without actually affecting the widget on the default layout all right so i have opened the analytics studio on my phone now when i click on this dashboard this is what we see right so this is a live demo on my iphone like you can see you have three kpis here the open pipeline one opportunities lost opportunities i can toggle the stages meaning i can change the stages and as you can see the graph below is changing i can select the opportunity type say existing business and the chart changes the number changes as well so i hope you found this video helpful like always please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends with your colleagues and if you want me to make videos on certain topics leave a comment below and again thank you so much for your support this week we crossed 200 subscribers so again thank you so much for your encouragement and support see you next week